And Sean Renault was one of the few companies, and I love this, that actually share with us what their color codes are. Welcome to Silver Linings. On this channel, I review only silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about caring for our natural gray hair. And sometimes I'll share hair care products that I love with you. Inspirational conversations and all things beauty. I've been working on this project all week and what I've done let's head over to my website and at my website you're going to see a page like this Jean Renault silver gray white and platinum wig colors now you're probably thinking platinum wig colors I don't want platinum I want silver gray and white you'll understand in a minute stay with me most of this page is a chart and what I did was I went to Jean Renault's site and I said, okay, what colors do you use that make up your wigs? And Jean Renault was one of the few companies, and I love this, that actually share with us what their color codes are. Now, they're not going to give away their secrets, so we don't know what percentage of what, per, you know, is it 50% of this color, 10%? We don't know. So... Um, but at least they tell us what makes up the colors of a particular wig. But here's all the colors that they use. And then, if you scroll down, scroll, scroll, here, you're going to see what makes up color 60, which they call, sometimes they'll name the color, and in this case the color is Winter Sun, which is made up of pure white. Now, I have a Jean Renault color ring, and I took the color ring apart, and I'm just going to go over this with you. This is very foundational, everybody, but it's good information to know. Color 60 is pure white. So when you see, so when you see 60, is there 60 in this hat? I think there is. But how much? We don't know. So what I've done is I've taken these colors right here and I've made down below the color code to each one. So just very quickly, color number 34. Here's color number 34. Could be that there's some of that 34 in that wig that I just reviewed, Hensley, because remember it was a rooted wig. 34 in the gray family, but you're saying, but it's not gray, but they might mix it with some gray, some true gray, or they might mix it with some white, which gives you a salt and pepper. And then we have color number 36. And then we have color number 38. They call that milkshake, medium brown with 35% light gray. And then they have color number 39. Color number 39, which is cookies and cream. You could see the light ash brown with 75% gray. Light ash brown with 75% light gray. Interesting, right? Then if I go to color number 44, Color number 44 is called Marble Fudge. Again, this is Jean Renault's colors, everybody. Marble Fudge, pure white with 35% dark natural brown. Now we're getting into the browns. Color number 48 is called Apple Strudel. Pure white with 25% light natural gold blonde. Gold brown. Pure white with 25% light natural gold brown. Then we're getting into the actual grays. If we look at number 51, 51 is licorice twist. 
Licorice Twist, a light gray with 30% dark brown. So and you can see it there, right? You could see. It's light gray, gray with 30% brown. Then color number 54 is light gray with 25% medium natural gold blonde. Gold, gold. When you hear gold, that's yellow, ladies. That's yellow. Light gold with 25% medium natural gold blonde. We have five more. Color number 59 is Baked Alaska Pure White with 5% dark brown. You don't see too many 59 Baked Alaskas around. Here you can see the brown up here because it's kind of bleeding into the white. So this, but again, it's it's only 5% dark brown. I would probably love a wig in this color. Then we have 60, as I already spoke of. That is the pure white. Pure white. No color at all. Just pure white, the color of my own hair. Okay, and then we have three more. Color number 56. Color number 56 is Vanilla Marble. Light gray with 20% medium brown. Two more. We have color number 92. That always surprised me. Color number 92, I think it's down on the bottom, is... There it is. They call that Chunky Monkey. <laughs> Pure white with 5% medium brown front, gray with 30% medium brown middle, dark brown with 65% gray nape. Chunky Monkey, if you're looking for kind of a salt and peppery look, but a light salt and pepper. Pure white. 5% brown, 30% brown, 56% gray. So 50, so 65 gray, 5% pure white. So that's 70% gray white. The other 30% is going to be that medium brown. Interesting. Last, I wanted to mention the platinum. This color 101, this is, even though it's in the blonde family, it is kind of foundational for a lot of wigs. 101, they're going to blend it with some other colors, which is going to give you that platinum-y, uh, I don't want to say yellow, but just kind of bordering on the yellow. So when I see 101, I always kind of just take a really, really close look at that color. But I did. I do have this a wig in this color here, 101 F48T. I'll link it below. And it's one of my favorite wigs, and it does have 101. So over the years, I've expanded my horizons a little bit to include <clears throat> some of these colors that initially I didn't know anything about color. So that's it. Um, I just wanted to explain this chart to you. Yes, even though different you know, brands will, their blends will be different. What's going on with this chart is really foundational for you because all the wig companies are going to start with colors in the gray family. Now, can that change over time? Probably yes. Maybe it already has. But when you're searching color codes on Google and all that, that's where I started. And so that was my foundation for building this chart right here. And uh, the one, the color that I generally tend to go for I, I always 56 F 51 because 56 and 51 56 where are you 56 56 and 51 I mean what a beautiful combination that is beautiful combination and if they added white with it depending upon the blend you can end up, so look for these colors, look for 51, look for 56, look for 60, look for 59. If you're gravitating toward the more silvery white wigs, that's what you want to, that's what you want to look for. 
And sometimes that swatch, not sometimes, most times that swatch just isn't enough uh, information for you to make an intelligent decision, okay? Everybody, so if you want this tool, if you want this resource, I'll have a, a link below um, and then uh, a page where you'll see a little pop-up register uh, thing and just fill out your information, say, yes, I want that, and it'll automatically, please God, it'll automatically be sent to you. I'm trying to figure out all that automated email kind of thing. Uh, because it makes life a lot easier for obvious reasons. So that's it on my on my color, my Jean Renault color code explanation.